What's up? This is DJ J Days representing the Scratch DJ Academy, New York City, and I'm here at the All Points West Music and Arts Festival. I'm going to be taking you through some of the fundamentals today of DJing. Starting out, it's very important to understand your equipment. Let's talk about what we have going on over here. First thing, we got two turntables. Turntables, we have the platter that spins, we have the needle, and very important, we have the pitch control. What this does is speed up or slow down the tempo, the speed of your record. In the middle, we have our mixer. This basically controls all the sound that comes out of our speakers. Over here, we have the crossfader. This takes the left side in or the right side in, depending on where it is. Above that, we have our volume faders. And then above that, we have our equalizer and all our sound controls. Now we're going to talk about record control, where to place your hand. You always want to be on the opposite side of the needle, because you don't want to knock it off. All right? Next, we're going to learn how to do our first scratch. Before you learn how to do your first scratch, it's important to know how to cue up your record properly. You want to be able to hear your sound, catch it, and bring it back to the beginning. Now that I'm set up at about 9 o'clock, I'm going to go into my first scratch, the foundation scratch that every DJ needs to learn. It's called the baby scratch. Keep your hands at about 9 o'clock. You're going to move forward and backwards with your elbow and shoulder. The movement does not come from your hand. The only thing your hand does is keep the record from moving. Check this out. Forward and backward. Now I'm going to show you how to do a basic transition to go from one song into the other. So in my headphones, I have this record playing. I've queued it up. What I'm going to do now is do the baby scratch and transition into this side. Listen for my scratch and then listen to the tempo and the song change. Ready? some of the really basic skills every DJ knows how to have. There's a lot more that goes into it. You need to be able to read your crowd, especially have a lot of creativity if you want to be a good DJ. But if you put all of that together, you'll really be in the mix. <laughs> 